Well, as expected, health officials are undergoing COVID-19 testing after potentially being exposed to a patient at the Princess Margaret Hospital. A makeshift testing facility was set up on the grounds of the public treasury on East Street this past Saturday. Officials conducted the test using swabs from the nasal cavity. Dr. Ashley Adderley gave us a first-hand account of what it's like. The testing is a horrible process, but I guess it is necessary um, to describe how it feels. Uh, so what they do is they stick a swab down the back of your, to the back of your nose, and it's just a lot of burning and twisting. It doesn't last very long, but it feels very long. And so one of my colleagues described it as if you was to jump in a pool and get a lot of water um, in the back of your nose, that burning sensation, that's how it feels. And then we'd move on to Well, get this morning we spoke with Health Minister, the Honorable Dr. Dwayne Sands, on a protocol amid COVID-19. Here's what he told us. Protocol was uh, was distributed on February the sixth. It was widely disseminated. Now each institution, each agency, each clinic uh, has to modify its own unique protocol, and that would be a bottom-up approach. So there would be no expectation that the Ministry of Health would distribute the protocols coming from, let's say, uh, Sims Clinic in Long Island. Each facility would be expected to embellish or to add to the national COVID-19 plan. What can you tell us about treatments being used for current cases? On the local front for those new recoveries, what methods were used and what more can be done? Well, the technical team, the infectious disease physicians, the internists, the intensivists uh, are using many of the uh, therapies that you've read about, inclusive of uh, hydroxychloroquine, azithromycin, um, and other uh, medications. Bear in mind that we recognize that none of those therapies have been documented to be effective. And in the process of caring for patients, a process of informed consent uh, is obtained and uh, families are given the option or the patients given the option to try a particular therapy knowing that it has not been validated. Uh, but since there are no known cures for COVID-19, uh, we have to try uh, what is available. Obviously, around the world, we've looked at how COVID-19 has been treated in many different countries. Here in the Bahamas, I imagine there is no u a unique difference. What can you tell us about local research efforts that are being made to better understand COVID-19? Well, you know, we have a number of uh, clinicians, uh, scientists, uh, UB, uh, UWI, through PHA, Princess Margaret Hospital, Ministry of Health, and we're looking at various aspects of unique to the Bahamas. Um, they are uh, considering a number of things, inclusive of convalescent serum, uh, looking at antibody validation. We would have done uh, an antibody validation study on Saturday with some 200 persons having both RT-PCR testing as well as antibody testing. So, the Bahamas, like every other country, is engaged in a uh, study of this viral uh, pandemic and to determine how we can best modify the approach to suit our unique and peculiar needs. Well, you're watching the Morning Edition. Stay with us. There's more.